that can come up on the CLEP exam for college mathematics is the mean. And, of course, we can't be sure what they're going to ask, but one type of question that might pop up is a general question, meaning that they might give us some series of variables, like m plus n plus r plus s plus u, and then ask us something about the mean of these variables. For example, let's say we know that the mean of these of the sum of these variables is equal to m. So I, I should actually write that a little bit differently. I don't want to say it's equal to m. And I want to change this, this last letter u to something else because if you remember the symbol for mean is mu. And I don't want to confuse that with the letter u. So let's use um, w. So m, n, r, s, and w. We know that we add them up uh, and we divide by 5, we get the, the mean, which in this case we're going to say is equal to something. Let's say e. Okay, well, we can play around with this and ask all sorts of questions. Well, what happens then when we take the sum of the numbers and we divide by the mean? And in fact, I'm sorry, let me, let me go back. I don't want to call it e because I don't want to confuse that with the irrational number e. Let's just call it mu. Right, so this is equal to the, the mean of these numbers. Sum them up, divide by 5. Well, what happens when we divide the sum of those numbers by mu, right, by the mean? What will we get? Well, this is a really fun property of, of the mean, which is if you take the sum of any numbers and you divide by the mean, you'll always get the number of numbers you're adding up. So in this case, there are five variables of numbers. So if we divide by the mean, we get five. And if we're not feeling that this is actually true, in this case, try a couple of specific examples, and you can make it simple. Let's say m is equal to n, it's equal to r, it's equal to s and w. There's some number, and let's say they all equal, I don't know, 9. Well, when we add them up, what will we get? Well, it's 5 groups of 9, or 45, so in this case, it will be 45. And 45 divided by 5 gives us 9, which is the average. So if we take 45 and divide it by the average, which is 9, what do we get? We get 5, right? Because 45 divided by 9 is 5. So, so that, that, that makes sense in the simple case. But generally, why, why does this happen that if you take the sum of the, the, the numbers in your sequence and divide by the mean, that you actually get the number of numbers that you're adding? Why does this make sense? Well, let's look at the algebra of this problem, right? Here, we said m plus n plus n, m plus n plus r plus s plus w divided by 5 gives you the mean. And of course, we have to say, that, well, the mean can't be equal to 0, in, right? Because especially here, since we're dividing by the mean, and you can't divide by zero, 0, how do we know that this is equal to this? Well, it's really just a simple matter of multiplying both sides by 5, right? And what does that do? Well, that means here in this fraction, multiplying by 5 and dividing by 5, right? 5 divided by 5 is 1, so we can cross that out. And here we have the sum of the numbers e is equal to mu times 5. Well, if we divide both sides by mu, or the mean, mu divided by itself is 1, it cancels out, and here you can see it. This is now this term right here. So by messing around with the mean um, formula, we can see um, some other some other patterns that emerge. So if you're if you're trying to study for the CLEP exam and you want to think about mean, be ready for a question that asks you to kind of examine the general case of a of a of a sequence or a sum of variables, right? And that's at having that equal to some mean. Be ready to play around with that formula. Um, and this is just one example. So I hope that helps.